Hi Aries, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It is always a blessing to have you right back here. Today's reading is uh, for you. You know your diamond. Please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright like a diamond. Now also please make a note Aries that if this reading does not resonate to your situation, please do not get her offended or in your feelings. It only simply means here today that the reading is not for you. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn on the post notification so you will always be the first to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new videos. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up, my darlings. Because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like it. And they will push the videos through into a much wider audience. The channel will grow. The video will also grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and support that you show here in the channel. I do see the love, y'all. And believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Please make a friendly note that the card has been shuffled. The card has been blessed. Before I get into the reading of prayers, I must we do pray on this channel. So I'm going to get into a quick prayer, y'all. Then I'll just jump right into your reading. How many fathers I go along my day? As to bless myself and my seekers, Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and I do give you all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Just know that this reading could pick up your person's energy, past, person, present, or future. It could even pick up the cross watchers' energies for the ones who are, are watching. Now, if you do need to have a personal reading, y'all, um, connect with me. The information will be in the description part of this video. I must say I do have a very tight schedule for readings simply because I had went on vacation last week and I didn't do any readings while I was away. So I'm kind of backed up. So we'll try to be patient with me, y'all. So when you connect with me for a reading, just make sure that you have a date and time so that I can get to it really, really fast. All right. Get you in really, really fast as soon as I can. But thank you guys for your patience. Okay. I'm really trying to play, um, to play catch up here, y'all. All right. Let's get into it. All right, angels, let's get here. Let's get in. Um, for Aries, please, what is your purpose here? Let me have two angels, please. What is your purpose here? And what is your number placement in line? Well, angels are giving me three angels wanted to come through, y'all. So we'll just go ahead and let them through. I'm getting the angels of new beginning here. This will be the 22nd angel in line. Angel of the night sky. This will be the 30 second angel in line and this will be um, the angels of tranquility this will be the 33rd angel in line all right okay angels what's the message here um i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a bonus read i wanted to do a mega y'all but I'm presently baking, <laughs> okay? I'm baking, y'all. Um, so I'm not able to, I have to keep a very close eye to the, to the oven. And I'm in my office and my kitchen is downstairs. So I'm only going to be able to do a bonus one. All right, y'all, let's see what's the message here. What's the message? What's the present energy? Okay, what's the present energy? Don't stop, okay? Angels are saying that you shouldn't stop. You should keep going. Uh, maybe you doubt yourself here. Why are you doubting yourself, Aries? Um, your confidence is kind of beat up here. Perfect time is going to see you through. That's what angels are saying here. Perfect time is working on your behalf here. Uh, I don't feel like you might need to reconsider something that's coming towards you. This may be an offer here. For some of you, there may be some kind of a change in a situation here. That change is also asking for forgiveness here or needing forgiveness or needed to focus on the forgiveness here. What is the energy? All right. So within the next uh, few 
weeks. Something will change here, okay? <clears throat> okay, so within the next few weeks, this could be a relationship that's coming to you. Maybe you want to have a commitment here. This could be a situation where you're trying to manifest something towards you here. But some of you maybe start wanting to start worshiping and all of that, getting closer to, to a higher power. For some of you, your family situation is going to change as far as family and friends. Uh, for some of you, it could be your children, okay? So I see a lot of changes coming through here. I see opportunity coming in with changes with money flow and direction here. For some of you, you may have something coming towards you um, as far as uh, finances is concerned. A massive change here. What is the present energy? All right. And to say that you should get some more information here for forward movement. I do feel like maybe for some of you, you might need to want to be sure that you're okay. Um, for some of you, maybe they're definitely stressed out. For some of you, blood pressure might have been a little high these past days or weeks or something about your health here. Maybe you just want to focus on what's really going on. Maybe trying to uh, make healthier, smarter choices as far as eating is concerned. Maybe for some of you, maybe it was um, um, compensating about going to the gym or trying to get something to kind of feel better about yourself. Maybe start taking some healthy vitamins or something. But someone is either considering about what's going on with their health or it just say that you need to focus on that at present. There's no need to worry. Yeah, don't worry. Everything is in um where it's supposed to be, okay? But don't worry, don't stress yourself out because all I see that's coming through with you stressing yourself out is a sense of health issues coming through. You don't want to get all stressed out and beat up and burnt out is what angels are saying here, okay? Angels of the night sky and angels of new beginnings. What is the present energy here, please? What's the message? What's the present energy? What is it that you need me to share with Aries? What's the message here? Oh, Aries. Okay. Here's we got a lot of stuff going on, but don't not to worry, honey. We gonna clarify everything here and kind of get you going on a, a brighter path here. Okay. Now what you didn't see is the hangman here in the back of the deck. The back of the deck, this hangman is definitely watching your your every movement here. This hangman I feel is trying to um find a placement in your life here. This person may be even checking out your social media. Okay, this person um, might still have your phone number in their phone. It's kind of calling you, blocking their number so that you don't know that there's the one, they're the one who's calling. But I do feel this hangman is just chilling, relaxing. This person may even be lazy, okay? Really lazy, kind of put the damper into your forehead uh, movement here. Now, the tower is here in your present. We'll get back to the tower later and talk about that to see what's coming through with this tower here. Now, the Ace of Ace of Swords is here, the Page of Wands. Um, I am getting the Six of Swords here, the Hermit in the upright position, the King of Swords being here, and also the Ten of Wands in the upright. Now, I do feel for some of you that there's some kind of a new chapter, okay? Something definitely needs to start brand new is what I'm feeling here. But I do feel a sense of a big communication that needs to come to you. Or that maybe that's what you're yearning for right now, Aries. Maybe your situation that you're presently in here is definitely one that is lacking in communication. But because the, the angels of new beginning did come through, I'm definitely feeling something new is going to happen. It's, it could be love, life change. Because within the next few weeks, angels are saying something is going to improve in your life. This, this change involves... Relationship, family ship, situation ship, job ships, whatever ship that you're presently facing, okay? That is what's new that's coming in towards you. But I do feel like with the Ace of Swords being here, you're definitely 
um, needing to take action, okay? I feel like you cannot just allow yourself to sit back and chill and relax anymore because maybe you have already done that. You're definitely going to need to take action because this thing is coming towards you at a very fast pace here. And you don't have a very long time here is what I'm seeing, Aries. So you have to get yourself kind of prepared on a mental frame of mind here. Now, just know this. With the Page of Wands being here, right beside the Ace of Swords, it's giving me a sense of um, someone maybe in your circle here. This person is a lover, okay? And this person likes to share their energy. I do feel like this energy is filled with more of a passion or this person could be a dangerous passion as well uh, as far as sharing, okay? Now, I do feel a sense of innocency. This person doesn't look um, the part, okay? It doesn't look the part. I do feel like they may be dealing with some kind of anxiety, and this could be you. Take whatever resonates because it's a general reading. It could go back and forth. I could be saying you, her, she, me. Just take whatever resonates to your situation, okay? But I do feel a sense of anxiety, okay? Now, I'm seeing you moving forward, okay? Or maybe you're trying to move forward with what is it that you need or you're trying to move forward getting away from a situation that is kind of stagnant. You may be feeling like there's a stagnant feeling or a vibe around you. So I definitely see someone moving away here in this uh, Six of Swords, okay? Someone's definitely making a choice here because someone does not want to tag along with a baggage anymore is what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, hmm, this person here, this page of wands stays in their feelings is what I'm seeing here because the, the hermit is in the upright position. They stay in their feelings. Uh, they stay um, some at times very miserable, okay, very miserable, very moody and very miserable here at times, okay? Um, this person most of the time feels like they have such a strong ego here, Aries, Um is it easy to say a narcissist? Oh, okay. But this person definitely feels like they need no one. It's like in their their head, they, they already told themselves that they need no one. Okay. And because they're feeling like they need no one, I definitely feel like you're definitely on a journey right now to just let them stay alone and move on and do what it is that you're required to do. Okay. Now... With the King of Swords being here and the Ten of Wands here being in the upright. Now, your situation is definitely one that felt like it was falling apart. Maybe you were holding on to this relationship, even though this relationship seems like there was no communication that is coming through towards you. I don't feel like you might have met this person or been with this energy for some time here, but your relationship seems to be falling apart here, okay? It is definitely falling apart because in the upright, you've held things together. You've tried to hold. You tried to maintain. You tried to kind of, uh, kind of release a blind high and kind of held on to what you could, but eventually it fell apart. Okay, if it didn't fall apart, it does feel like it's falling apart right now. Now in your present, okay, huh? In your present, the tower did come through. Now the tower being here in your moment. Okay, is let me know that your relationship in fact fell apart. That's why the Ten of Swords is in, sorry, that's why the Ten of Wands is in the upright. Your relationship is, is, has fallen apart. I do feel like there's two people that has definitely been in separation here. I do see separation coming through with this tower being here, okay? I do feel maybe for some of you, maybe feel like you, this person might have deceit or a sense of deception. Uh, maybe you felt like this person might have lied to you about a situation. Truth was not told. For some of you, maybe there was a whole lot of arguments and conflicts. Uh, for some of you, there was just people in the business here. Maybe for some of you, you feel like you just couldn't move forward. It kind of felt stagnant here. Um, you felt like this person might have betrayed you in the worst way. Trust was lost here. And your relationship fell apart. But the first thing that happened was separation because there was no communication. There was no communication here. There's, there was none here. And there was none here because this person is more uh, of, a, of a person that likes to share their energy with others. And on top of that, they stay in their feelings watching you all day, every day is what they do. Okay. And that's why relationship is falling apart because 
what they need to focus on, angels of tranquility, angels of the night sky, angels of new beginning, is telling me, listen, this person is a fool, okay? Now, because this person seems to have foolish mentality here, um, they keep jumping back into the swing of things. Now, this could mean that they, they keep jumping back. Um, they keep jumping back into things that they should not be jumping back into. And I also feel like maybe for some of you, you do keep going back and forth with this person. Uh, maybe you have uh, split up a couple of times and came back. This person is used to this type of a lifestyle, okay? And I feel like whatever it is that they're doing outside of your relationship, they have the same mentality here. I do feel like if someone is either indulging into some dark side here or uh, maybe trying to be inquisitive to learn some things with the dark side here someone is definitely indulging into or uh, trying to figure out oh yes they are mm -hmm. yes honey they are okay because the devil card is show up in the reverse confirmation here somebody is definitely trying to figure it out with spell work okay i don't feel like your person might have already went to a reader I do feel like this reader might have given them things or given them advice on how to um, subdue the situation. That's the word that's coming through, subdue the situation. But the devil card did show up in the reverse. And with this card showing up in the reverse, I do feel like this, your person, okay, is definitely um, on the fence trying to learn things. And not only are they trying to learn things, but the things are not going accordingly, okay? I feel like plan backfired here. Now, I do feel like your person might have had some childhood trauma as well. Now, once again, take this as it resonates to you. It could be you that had childhood trauma. It could be your person that had childhood trauma, but it's coming through here with this devil card in the upright. Now, I do feel with this trauma, someone might have been sexually assaulted is what I'm feeling here, okay? Some kind of a trust that was broken. So I feel sexually, yeah, someone was definitely manipulated here by someone that they trusted here. Now, I do feel a sense of uh, freeing yourself from what had happened here, all right? You don't want to hold on to that forever. Um, it's putting the damper here, okay? It's, it's, it's trust is an issue. Now, please know that if you're the one that was um, or had dealt with this um, experience, the sexual assault, find a safe place, Okay. This is why this is here. This card that came up and said within the next few weeks, that's telling me someone is on the journey of of uh of loving themselves, self love, maybe trying to get connected to their spiritual part path, okay, um, and that is needed because it's gonna help you to um let go of the crooked path, all right. And if this is your person, your person has not figured the way out. Your person is mostly indulging into the dark side. And going to readers that is not a not that is not making a situation better. Let's say it's only making the situation worse. Is what I'm seeing here, right? But it's time to move on. Is what I'm seeing here in your present because your person is still fighting a battle here. Someone is still fighting a battle. This could be you fighting a battle too, not wanting to let go. Okay, take what does ever resonate. Again, you know what I mean. Um, if it's your person who's fighting the battle, they're not ready to stop fighting that battle yet. What is the present energy here, please? What is the message? Okay. So I do feel like trust is an issue here. I feel like trust was definitely broken here. Trust was definitely broken, all right? Mm-hmm. Angels of tranquility. Trust was definitely broken. You're definitely trying to find a safe haven here. Okay. This is what you're trying. You're trying to find a placement. Angels of tranquility. A new beginnings. New chapter here. This new beginning, this new beginning awaits you. Is what I'm feeling. There's definitely a situation that you need to investigate here. Alright. Um... Because you might feel like someone might have took something. It could be a mental thing, okay? It could be money. It could be something. But you're feeling like you cannot trust the situation any longer or anymore. You're not choosing not to trust it. 
Okay. So I do feel like with this nine of cups that's here, y'all, I do feel like your person knows, okay, and just know this. All right, let me explain this nine of cups because now I feel about this being here. I do feel like your person knows that you're the best thing that ever happened to them, okay? Because at one point in time, you are the perfect person. And what they really wanted in a relationship is what they had seen in you. But the problem here is you ended up having a mental breakdown, okay? Someone had a mental massive breakdown here. I do feel like this may, this breakdown might have include, included um, some kind of a betrayal that you might have felt. Um, some kind of a truth not told type of a situation. But you felt like this person definitely um, caused what you were going through, okay? Without a doubt. Yeah, because they might have met someone. What they did was kind of met someone else. And the someone else that they might have met definitely was one that caught a, caught their attention okay not only did this person caught their attention but this person was um, definitely a very unhealthy type of a meet up here sneaky link ups right i do feel like they left you for dead here that's why you're feeling this way that's why you ended up being and feeling like this they definitely walked out leaving you into a very very bad state here okay I do feel like this third party and your person, they do party a lot, okay? They do party a lot, and I do feel like you're feeling at this moment that your person might have abused you because they left you, for some of you, they left you with a lot of responsibility to take care of here. Maybe for some of you, you might have children with this energy, okay? Share ties, maybe a home, cars, something, okay? And maybe they had just walked out and leave you with all the responsibility and the baggage, because this did show up, right? You carrying the weight of the world here, right? Now, I'm also feeling in your present, y'all, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? With Ace of Pentacles being here, I do feel a sense of um, you, you're either thinking marriage goals. If you weren't married, you wanted to be married to this person. Um, or if you were with this person, you definitely tried your best here. Because you prayed and you wanted and you and you prayed and you cried. Bloody hell here. All right? You were thinking to stay for every type of a goal here. This Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings, new chapter, money, um, movements, everything. That's what you wanted to do with this person here. But the word card showed up in the upright for this Ace of Pentacles with your person. There was definitely no luck coming through, okay? There was absolutely no luck coming through with this person, with this situation, what you found yourself in was a bind here. Now, I do see the car and the house coming too. So that's kind of telling me that you were definitely in a very, um, uh, let's just say you were definitely in a contracted relationship, okay? Because I do see with this, with this seven of pentacles here, someone maybe started to invest into what they had. And a lot of investment was going on here a house and car and all that stuff. Some of them wanted to invest in this relationship, okay? But now, this King of Cups here decided to turn their ass up in the upright here, okay? Hiding their true feelings, not keeping keeping tons of secrets here, okay? It's what they decided to do, standalone, abandonment. Um, they definitely left, okay? Um, if they didn't leave, you damn well did, or you need to make a choice is what I'm feeling here because... Hmm, they're definitely not there right now. Mm hmm I'm getting abandonment. This person might have abandoned you. This person is not there. Not there. And they're having the relationship in the reverse, in the upright. They're not happy and so are you. Your relationship seems to be falling apart. Past persons for a future by the day, right? I do see a sense of lies that's still coming through here. Um, not only did this person lie to you, but they definitely um, were in a mask here. They were like night and day here. It was like night with you and day with the third party. This third party here, mm-hmm, wearing a mask. You definitely feel like they might have stole something from you. 
Um, and all in all reality, I am getting it's time that you forgive, okay? Because with this tree, with this tree of swords being here in the upright, I do feel like it's time that you forgive the situation because some of you already know about this third party, okay? So you just really have to forgive the situation, just move on from it. Don't hold on to it anymore because you're not about to be blinded, all right, and, and stuck in a situation of tears, all right. Uh, I do feel like you have definitely had uh, confusion coming in towards you here. Or for some of you, definitely had lost your confidence here. Um, or maybe they have lost their confidence towards you. Or they have lost their confidence towards themselves. The separation is in full effect here. Because this, people is still, this person is still sleeping around with other people here. Alright, it's what they're still doing. They have not changed. Um, and they're not ready to do that. Not just yet. What is the present energy here? Please, angels. What's the energy? Okay. Yeah. They're definitely keeping secrets here. Okay. They're not ready to open up. And they're not ready to tell you exactly what it is that they're doing. Okay. They're choosing to hold on to the past here. But I do feel like um, you might have met someone are you about to? Okay. You might have met someone or still someone coming towards you. This person is the king of wands here. They're coming towards you as a very mature energy here. Um, this person really gets to the root of the problem. This person would definitely want to be with you. Okay. They would definitely want to fight for you. They would definitely want to be successful with you. All right. Is what I'm seeing here. Let me have some more clarity on this. Um this King of Wands, please. Who's this King of Wands here? Tell me more. Tell me more, angels. This King of Wands. Okay. So this King of Wands is presently um, trying to find a new way to love. They've had their fair share of heart, heartache, hurt, and pain as well. I do feel like this King of Wands is coming in as they're in the process of building or rebuilding their life situation. They have definitely had their fair share of um, being lied and hurt just like you have been. And they're in the process of fixing their, their, their whatever needs to be fixed here. They're manifesting is what they're doing. Okay. And as far as their money, they're growing their stash here. Now, I do feel like this person is very, very um, smart. Uh, they're very intuitive here. I do feel like they're heading towards um, a new relationship with a clear, very clear mind because they're not trying to reverse their lifestyle or what had happened in the past, all right? Now, I do feel like this person is definitely coming in as using or trusting their intuition moving forward with just about anyone. So for you, you definitely have to be sure that you release the baggage um, for no mistakes here because this person is, is definitely on the lookout for problems so where it is problems they're out they don't have any patience because they've already been burned they want someone to be on the same level which is growing together manifesting together and reaping what y'all sow that is what their mission is right now to to be positive and to be very spiritual here as far as moving forward and as far as move, um, gains are concerned now the angels of new beginnings the angels of the nice kind of angels of tranquility want you to know that you have to continue to put your best foot forward and just go ahead and never give up, never look back because the angels did come true and say, don't stop. You should not stop. Don't stop. Don't stop your dream. Don't stop your goal. Keep going. Don't look back. Don't get distracted. Keep on moving on and watch how God do his work for you in your life. Just be sure that you're praying and just be sure that you're fasting. And you're combining those to get two together. When you combine those two together, power will happen in your life, okay? Don't forget to pray for me as well, y'all. All right? Um, also, thumb up the videos for me. I really wanted to go live um, earlier, y'all. But I wasn't able to do that because of cooking. But anywho, I will definitely do that tomorrow. I'll go live tomorrow. Love you guys. You guys rock. Um, stay sweet, stay blessed, and always remember to seek first, and you'll always find.